JJ, every time we played you, we use the term game wrecker. We can't let Watt right. wreck the game. There's a picture in our in our facility of one of my sacks on you. I'll never forget that one because that was my first time playing up at Denver, and I had two and a half sacks that game. Manning steps up, and Manning is sacked. He's brought down by Watt. J.J. Watt, two and a half sacks on the day. I still have pictures of that one as my coolest pictures I've ever had from sacking you, so I was really excited about it. I, I, you know, I'm not going to sign it if, if, you're, <laughs> if that's on your mind. I, you know, defensive player of the year, you're not sneaking up on anybody. How do you still get it done knowing that offenses are scheming towards you? I mean, they are. How do you yeah. still make it happen? It gets a lot harder. It gets a whole lot harder because you see chips, you see double teams, you see a tight end staying in the block. You see all those things. Look at J.J. Watt. Three men. We've got three on one. That's what they've had to do. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice hit, actually. That was a nice hit. And so for me, it comes down to trying to use the information you can get and then just pure will. I mean, you have to find a way through a double team. You have to find a way through a chip. But also, when they slip up, when they give you a one-on-one, -on -one, when they give you that little sliver of opportunity, you, gotta, you have to you take gotta it. Capitalize. You have to take it. Hey, guys, you might want to try somebody else at right tackle. It's not working so well right now. Some people think of game wreckers as dumb brutes who scare small children. But they're actually pretty smart and are constantly thinking of ways to beat you. So if I'm going against a quarterback like you, who's obviously one of the best of all time, who makes checks and all these different things. Stop, stop. I'm trying keep, to keep figure going, out going. when he's making these checks, I'm looking at your own lineman. And I'm seeing, are they changing their stances? Is the tackle, is he upright or is he down low? Is his foot in, is his foot back? Is there anything I can tell that's gonna give me the tiniest little tip okay. that I can use? Bat it down, the SWAT team at it again. He stayed down on me, and I saw him cock his arm, so I jumped. What's your favorite pass rush move, or kind of your go-to yeah, yeah. when, hey, of course. I got to make a play here? So it all starts with the bull rush for me. <laughs> pass rush always starts with the bull rush, because if the guy doesn't know you have a bull rush, he's never going to respect it. So I always try and go out there uh, power, with the bull rush, power, power him over. Yeah. But then off of that, I really like to work this fake bull rush swim move, um, which kind of swipes his arms away and gives me the edge. Yeah. Hopefully, he's going to lunge forward thinking I'm going to bull rush, drop his weight down, and I can get the corner. Watt knocks the ball out. J.J. Watt, strip, sack. Wow. Do you find yourself crowded restaurant kind of doing that, <laughs> getting by people. I mean, I mean right. you carry it home with you. You know, it's always there. So. College coach did teach me that one time. He said, when you're going to class, when you're going to lunch, every corner you turn, I want you to make a move and dip and rip. And I legitimately did that throughout college. Now, I, I haven't done it lately. My girlfriend hasn't caught any swim moves <laughs> in the, in the, around the house. Yeah, I used to lick my fingers before I threw to, with the grip. And me and Ashley were out at dinner one time, and I was licking my finger. She's like, stop. Do not bring that home with you. You'd think I'd have fond memories of the last time I played J.J. Peyton throws home run. He's got Julius Thomas there. Thomas with a touchdown, and there's the record. All right, congratulations. You did it, dude. You did it. Great job. Great job. But my ribs remember it differently. Can you help? Yeah, I'm oh, I got around to you one time, down on that end zone, actually. Here's the pass rush. Manning in trouble. He's going to go down. Watt got a hand on the throwing arm. You're looking back to pass. I came around the edge, and I beat the guy clean around the edge, and I reached uh, to hit the ball out of your hand. And you had the ball in your hand like this, and I hit the ball, but you didn't drop it. And it pissed me off so bad. <laughs> and uh, you stepped up and actually got sacked by somebody else. Yeah, which... I, was, I was real happy about that. Oh, Watt done, Watt done slow down. No, no, no. He only knows one speed. I also remember that game, like all teams do, cover zero, bring more than you have. And so what I always liked was protect the interior and, and let somebody on the outside right. be far away. And you kind of drift away from the free right, guy. Right. And then, you know, you'd kind of been over here. For some reason, you end up over here. And right. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, don't tell me we're going to have to let yeah. Watt. Free. I couldn't get 
<laughs> deep enough and like almost like a sprint out to the right. <laughs> J.J. Watt with big pressure on Peyton Manning, who is feeling it, slow to get up. You got a nice little drive in there, and you kind of whispered, I'll be back here in a couple minutes, punk. <laughs> um, I wish you'd call that protection more. Yeah, exactly. I, Peyton Manning called J.J. Watt an absolute game record. You got me good on that last one. You hear me? Yeah, you all right? Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of hard to go over to John Fox and explain. He's like, now, now tell me, why would you let Watt run free? Well, coach, you see what we were doing? I'm like, you know what? We'll never yeah, do it again. Those are my favorites. If I can get those, that's, that's really living yeah, right there. I bet.